We're looking in this tutorial and the following three tutorials at offences against property. In this tutorial, I will cover the offences of theft and in the next tutorial, we'll look at some other common offences contrary to the Theft Act 1968. Theft itself is by far the most complicated of the offences that we will look at in this tutorial because many of the concepts we will examine whilst looking at theft are then repeated in other offences such as burglary and robbery. Theft is a statutory offence, contrary to Section 1.1 of the Theft Act. It's an offence which is triable either way and carries a maximum sentence of seven years imprisonment. A person is guilty of theft if they dishonestly appropriate property belonging to another, with the intention of permanently depriving the other of it. There are five elements to the offence of theft. Appropriation, property and belonging to another make up the actus reus. And dishonesty and intention to permanently deprive make up the mens rea. Let's look now at each element in turn. Appropriation. This is partially defined in section 3.1 of the Theft Act as any assumption by a person of the rights of an owner and this includes where he has come by the property, innocently or not, without stealing it, any later assumption of a right to it by keeping it or dealing with it as its owner. This definition includes actions such as taking possession of, using, selling, giving away, or omissions such as failing to return property as an example of a later appropriation. In the case of Morris, the House of Lords held that the assumption by the defendant of the owner's rights need not be of all the rights of the owner, but an assumption of any single right. 